Hi, welcome back to my channel. If you don't already know me, I am Katie and I am a mum of three. And I haven't posted on this channel for so long because honestly I just got a bit overwhelmed and I've just neglected it. But I've just watched a video from my friend Ree from Mummy of Four and she's inspired me to get going again. So here I am, I'm back, and I thought I would start off with a stay home with me because we're going to just be staying home today because we are in the middle of lockdown and I'm going to be doing some cleaning, I'm going to be doing some homeschooling, just a whole day in the life in lockdown. So the children are still upstairs asleep. I actually, for the first time in absolutely ages, got up before them because yesterday was a complete disaster. Everything seemed to go wrong and it started off with me oversleeping, them jumping in bed with me and I thought, no, today I'm gonna do it differently. I'm gonna get up early. I'm gonna wipe down the kitchen surfaces. So I've already done all of that. I've wiped down the kitchen. I've got everything out ready to make some pancakes. And as soon as they get up, I'm gonna make pancakes. I'm gonna feel like, right, I'm in control. Um, so we'll see, we'll see how the day pans out. But um, I'm happy that you are here to stay home with us today. And if you enjoy the video, do give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button because that honestly that will just make my day so let's go so the first thing i do every single morning is to write in my planner just make a list of everything that i need to go and do throughout the day to keep me on track they love pancakes so we are having them quite regularly at the moment. I will put the recipe down below because it is a really good one and they just love them. I don't know about you, but we've been joining in with P with Joe. So the kids get on with that while I do my face. I will link the products down below because I've been using a few different ones over the last few weeks and I'm really noticing a difference with my skin and my complexion. Um, specifically the coconut oil as moisturiser. It's amazing. All done. I've put on a jumper. It's quite cold today, but my legs don't get cold. So I'm wearing some shorts. <sighs> Ready for the day now. We try to alternate our lessons so some days we'll do maths and then English and then sometimes we'll do English and maths just to spice up our life. Um, mainly I focus on Lily because being younger she needs that little bit extra support so here I'm showing her how to do like a number in her head, number in her fingers. Grace is quite able to get on with it by herself and her teacher has been filming lessons so she can watch that and do the work alongside him. And then poor old William, I just let him do what he wants. All right, that's maths done. Now it's time for English. And again, a lot of it is set on the tablet. So Grace is gonna be doing hers on the tablet. And then Lily has got purple mash. I don't know if any of you have got purple mash for your kids. Um, so she's writing a, a letter to Goldilocks to apologize, no, from Goldilocks, I should say, from Goldilocks to Baby Bear to apologize for her terrible behavior. So more tablet work. I'm gonna leave them to it and I think I'm gonna do some playing with William because, but yeah, he's been a bit neglected. Oh. Not always, but lots of the time I can just leave the girls to get on with things and then I can play with William, but we have been finding recently that it's getting harder and they do need my help. But in this instance, they were able to get on and we had a real nice time playing dinosaurs together. It was nice to see him smiling. Lunch was a tuna wrap, if I am correct, which we do eat a lot of tuna. I do worry about the mercury levels in our body, but um, we love tuna. Um, so yeah, just a nice simple lunch. Lunch is over and we've decided we've had enough of staying indoors. So we're going to go for a bike ride just to go and hand deliver a letter that Lily has written for her friend. So we're gonna go on a bike ride. It does look like it's about to pour down. So we're gonna have to wrap up really warm. Um, and we're just gonna quickly go for a quick bike ride and then home again. And then I think we might watch a movie because honestly my brain is fried. So while they watch a movie, I will get on with some work um, and housework. <sighs> have to do that later. Looking at the weather, I'm already regretting my life choices right now, but the kids are excited. So we're gonna go in the rain. Is it a bit wet in there, guys? Yes. 
Yeah. Very wet. I couldn't feel much more than that because it was absolutely pouring down. If I show you, you can see on our table out there the rain, and we were out in that. So we're gonna watch a movie now. Um, and while they're watching the movie, I will have a think about dinner. I've got to go shopping later, which I'm absolutely dreading because I couldn't get a slot, so I'm gonna have to go and do that. But so I'm gonna have to have a bit of a put together kind of dinner. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna try and get on with some housework while they're busy watching zombies, is what they're gonna watch on Disney Plus. Folding laundry is my number one least favorite thing to do in the whole wide world. Um, motivation has been really low recently because honestly it feels like it's the only thing I do around here. So if you're struggling too, then feel free to join my challenge that I'm running at the moment. I'll put down the details below so that um, it might help you to get motivated to, to do your housework as well because we're all struggling. This is our snack table. I just quick, quickly want to show you. Um, and it's full of all various snacks and they get a pound at the beginning of each day and they have to spend 20p for some sweets, 30p for some chocolate bars, whatever. And it's really helping to control their constant desire for food. There's some beer that my husband just helpfully left at the side there. He made it himself. Um, and yeah, I'm going to go and put some washing on now. I try to put a load on every single day and it just uh, helps me to keep on top of it, never gets too much because if you just, even if you leave it for a couple of days, suddenly you seem to have a mountain full. So yeah, every single day I put a load on. Normally I do it at the beginning of the day, but today it just was a late day, I don't know. <laughs> I promised the girls after our bike ride when we were absolutely soaked that we could have a hot chocolate and I finally remembered to do that and I joined them to watch the end of the movie. I have just put some dinner in the oven. Um, we are at the end of our food supply so we are having sausages and chips in the oven and I've got to sit down now and make a list of things that I need to buy from the shops. I have got a Tesco's order slot for Monday but we've already run out so um, I'm gonna just make a list of things so today is Thursday so for Friday Saturday Sunday and Monday um, what things I can buy to get us through the weekend I'm, just dre I'm dreading I'm dreading going out so I find it really useful to do a meal plan so I sit down and at the moment I'm literally planning every last detail that's breakfast lunch dinner and the snacks that will go on the snack table and everything else in between and then I transfer that to a shopping list and so I know exactly what I'm going out for I'm going out wish me luck turns out I'm not going out because my battery's flat all this sitting around, not driving anywhere. The battery has died. Honest to God, it just gets better and better, doesn't it? After I got back and put all the shopping away, we all joined in helping Gracie with her project that she had to do for school. I say we joined in and helped these two. <laughs> They're so funny together, they do make me laugh. After a very long day of schoolwork and the car breaking down and everything like that, I was very glad to be putting the children to bed. They all went up at around seven o'clock. They don't have to go to sleep, but they are allowed to read, but I needed them all gone. And we enjoyed the next episode in Killing Eve. If you haven't watched it, definitely watch it. It's great. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Do give it a thumbs up if you did and I would love it if you subscribed. Bye!